<laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about crows. So pre be prepared for a lot of black birds. They're cool and they're very Halloween-y, I suppose. Here's one uh, as a pot holder. Um, uh, I love the way that it's crocheted into the pattern. You can crochet them in any color, but the orange really gives it a Halloween feel. This one is sitting around waiting for some Halloween candy, I suppose. I'm not exactly sure. It's cute, it's fluffy, and it has uh, all the details that a crow should have. Now, this one comes uh, as, a set, as a part of a set. Of course, we're talking about this little cute crow on top of, uh, I think it's a mouse, of the head of the mouse. And it's uh, it comes with its little buddy. It's just adorable. Look at the little feet. <laughs> it's, it's just here, here's the side view. This is just great. Now this one with the bulging eyes is also quite adorable. Look at the fluffy feathers on top, and it has quite colorful feathers um, in its wings, big feet, and a nice orange uh, beak. As does this one. I love the, <laughs> the little cringy, cringy things on top. Very cute. And uh, this one also can be made into a turkey, as we see here. And uh, that will be our Thanksgiving. <laughs> so um, make one for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. That's uh, one pattern makes all, I suppose. Here's a classic shape. Love this. Uh, love the sleek lines of, of this one. Very nice. Love the, the, the curved beak. And uh, it has all the things you can possibly want in a crow pattern. Now, this one is adorable. It's small. It had the beak sort of worked into the body. Very cute. Here it is in a different color and with different, um, well, different bling, I suppose. Different uh, embroidery there. Here it has different colors as well. It's a very versatile, very cute little pattern. Make a little mobile for that. Or... Uh, you can make a little mobile out of them, string them on a, on a line and uh, make a nice Halloween decorations, anything you want. This long-legged legged friend is a very cute pattern of a crow or general bird if you make it into a different color. Love the shape of the wings, look how cool that is and uh, it's just very cool. This is very gothic looking, isn't it? This, uh, this pillow pattern. Um, with the with the uh, with the crow in there, it's very cool. Now, if you want to dress up as a crow for Halloween, this hat is perfect. I love the little cheeks there; it looks very cute. Uh, the beak is a fantastic shape. Here is a very bad photo of a very cute pattern. I don't think the photos are improving; they're just out of focus. Uh, I'm very sorry about that, but you do get the general gist of the pattern. Here is the beak with the very cool indentation and uh, it's a very happy looking fella and uh, very very nice here's a slightly better photo it's a little less out of focus and it's wearing a little skirt it's just adorable it's adorable um, as is this one little scarecrow I suppose in its pumpkin patch doing its business or it's lying down on the job that's possible as well love the little vest that they made with this uh, this little guy this one is part of a set for, I think they're pot holders or maybe um, uh, coasters for uh, Halloween and um, and for the autumn in, in general, for Thanksgiving as well. So there's like uh, all sorts of there. I don't think I have, I have a photo of that, but uh, they're very cool. And this is the crow one. Here's a vintage pattern of a crow wearing a, a scarecrow hat, I suppose, and his little uh, Thanksgiving buddies, the pumpkin and the turkey. Turkey. They all come with the cool hats. <laughs> here's another horrible photo, but very cute pattern. Naughty little crows here. Very adorable. Love the little fluffy yarn on top. Um, they uh, are a naughty bunch. This is a, an adorable one. Very small, very easy to make, uh, but the effect is fantastic. Another cute little small one. I love these cute little crows. I love this one. I, I just, just, it's just adorable. Can't help it. This one is very cute. <laughs> I can make it, put it on top of your, uh, of your, uh, computer monitor or something. Here's a crow lying down. Um, here it is standing up. I love the shape of the, uh, of the legs and the tail, the tail feathers. And I have to say this orange really pops against this, uh, against the black. It says free pattern. And that reminds me that some of these crow patterns are actually free. 
some of them are paid, some of them are free. So you would just have to click on them just to see um, which one is which. This one is free. It comes with a cool knitted pattern for a, a cowl, especially for these crows. Um, very cool. This one is a hat again. It's a very dopey looking crow. It's a bit sad looking, I suppose. But uh, you can always have a, a happy day as a crow. They're bound to be miserable one, ones as well. Here's a very nice Edgar Allan Poe crow. It's perfect. It's uh, very lifelike. And uh, you can uh, you can do your own crow impressions with this one. Here's a very abstract little amigurumi one. I love the shape of this. It's basic. Um, it's basically just an oval with uh, a lot of cool details. Look at those wings, for instance. They are very detailed and colorful. Well, gray, gray tone to colorful. And uh, oh, look at this. So cute. I really like this one. Look at that. How can you not like this one? <laughs> This little crow is really Halloween-y. Uh, it has, also has a little skull there. Um, here it is in different colors. It's so cute. And of course, the pumpkins have to be there as well. This one really loves colorful flowers. Look at the sweet face. It's adorable. Little fluffy feathers on top. Um, very nice. And there's only one photo of this one. Very uh, simple, straightforward crow there, but quite cute. And this one is a little bit more elaborate, also loves blingy stuff. Um, and this one has uh, its own little necklace. Look at the shape of this beak. That is spectacular, this one. Very nice. Here it is, also a very friendly looking crow with a lovely little rose in its hair, I suppose, in its feathers on top. That's it for the crow pattern roundup. Um, I hope you found one that you liked. The link to all these wonderful patterns you can find in the description. As I said, some of these are free. I hope you are well and I wish you happy crocheting.